nuclear testing continues slowly to contaminate Earth's atmosphere with the multiple dangers of radiation. This is a grave concern to all the people of Earth. Much of this deadly radiation is escaping Earth's atmosphere and poisoning the distant reaches of outer space. As a result, it is possible that in time, other planets, such as this, the emerald planet in the Marpet galaxy, will become uninhabitable. The High Council of the Emerald Planet is now deciding what must be done. They are fierce fighters when it comes to defending and protecting their way of life. The Emerald Men are basically creatures of peace. But now, once again, their very existence is threatened by the madness of certain human beings of the planet Earth. The Emerald Men are aware that should nuclear war erupt on Earth, the atmosphere of this whole area of the universe would become deadly poison. Therefore, peace must be ensured on Earth. But now an aggressive nation, that of Mongolia, plans to take over the world through the use of hidden atomic weapons, which they're smuggling into every country on the globe. The Mongolians must be stopped. There is only one way the Emerald Men may be able to achieve this. The scientists of the Emerald Planet have invented one of the most ingenious mechanisms the universe has ever seen. Called a globe meter, it is carried on the wrist. It enables its wearer to do three things. To fly through space, to detect radioactivity, and to speak and understand every language on the planet Earth. Finally, this great forum of the Emerald Hierarchy reaches a decision. In order to save Earth from the attacks of the Megolians, they must once more present the globe meter to one of their fellow creatures and send him to Earth. He is the creature made of the strongest steel. As he flies toward Earth, Starman's globe meter warns him of the proximity of some kind of deadly nuclear device. My radio's gone bad. I'm unable to hear. The rudder doesn't work. If you get all the way to Japan, it'll take a miracle. secured and kindly stay in your seats. Thank you. Please follow the captain's instructions and try to remain calm. Again, able to control it. Ah, that's good. It looks safer ahead. I knew that we'd make it. Didn't I say it? I've just had word. Everything is now under control again, and we are no longer in danger. 
Once again, Starman receives a warning from his globe meter that a nuclear device is somewhere nearby. The crowd welcomes Boris Zdenko and other members of the Mongolian economic mission. In that briefcase, Zdenko secretly carries one of his nation's deadly nuclear devices. last thing you try. Your revolver hasn't a silencer. Pull the trigger and they'll hear. Try it and see how fast they get here. Give me that bag. Now that's it. You're a police agent. Not of this earth. Oh, you're a comedian, I see. This is just a trick for money, am I right? Just how much are you asking? Money isn't of interest. That bag is. I know Mongolia's great plan. Atomic warfare on Earth. I will stop it. If I don't, nothing on Earth can live. What's here can contaminate all the distant planets. Oh, <laughs> you sound concerned. You're talking so strangely. You sound a little like, uh, how shall I say it, like a creature that's from another planet, I guess. Do I? I was created on another planet. I was sent here to save all the gentle people of this great Earth. Now, I want you to give me what you're carrying.
little advice. Bullets have no effect on me. Just give me what I ask. It won't do you any good trying to be so smart. You better get out of here or I'll shoot. Go. I warn you, go on. Not till I get the bag. You can't hurt me with that. taking that case. I want to know his name and exactly where he lives. You're aware that what you did wasn't right. Just why did your friends take the case? What is your father's name? Why don't you answer? Go ahead. My father died long ago. He died? I still would like to know his name or that of your mother. I don't have a mother. No parents at all? Tell me, where do you live? Then, I'll make a guess. I'll bet that you don't have a home. Yes, I do. A big house and nice. I'm proud to live there and go to school there. My home's a happy orphanage. And now all I ask is that you take me home, and right now. You want to go back? Oh, then you can. Just tell me first. The boy's address. The one who took the case. Just answer that. I want to know his address. Now, what is it? In Kameta, the Emanuel orphanage. I was really scared, but they were stupid, weren't they? While the gang was busy fighting, we took everything and outsmarted them, right? Right. I wish this was loaded. Then I would show you what a good soldier I'm going to be. You shouldn't play with it. You're liable to get into a lot of trouble. Throw it away. The police ought to have these things, I think, don't you? They can have them later. I want to play with this gun. It's a beauty, isn't it? friend of all children. Oh, then you're not a gangster? Now, where did you get that idea? That briefcase is the reason I came to you. I'm also seeking a gun. 
Why not let me keep the gun? It's too dangerous for you. And here's the case. Children, supper is ready. Coming, Sister Toshiko. Is there anything wrong, sir? I was going to do a trick. Now watch closely and you'll see. Watch this. again. Do I have to listen right now? A detective needs some free time, huh? Today the story's true. I saw three men earlier today trying to kill the third one. Ah, gangsters, I'd say. No, they weren't. The strong one said he wasn't a gangster, didn't he? Mm -hmm. He was as strong as anything. The man even did a trick for us. He bent a pistol just like that. Bent it like that? <laughs> this sounds like another of your stories. You must always tell the truth, because if you don't, if you lie, you can end up in jail. He's not lying. It's a true story. Look. Huh? Oh, this gun is real. But children, you must have been in danger. You might have been hurt. Uh, sister, tell me, did you see it done? Yes, I saw the man bend it. I imagined that it was nothing more than a toy gun. Just think. Whoever did this had the strength of steel. We were playing, and then a car came along, and three men got out. They started a fight. We watched for a while, but we stayed out of sight. They were fighting over a leather case. And two of the men shot the strong man, but no matter how many bullets they shot at him, he wasn't hurt at all. Right? That's uh -huh. right. We took a chance. We grabbed the case and ran as fast as we could. We were going to take it to the police. The one who's the strong man came here. I think he followed us. When he saw the case, he said that he wanted it. Mm-hmm. Yes. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Children, thank you. I will return to the station and investigate this. You'd better keep the children here. It's possible they can be in danger. I shall. This is frightening. As yet, there really is no reason for you to worry, so try not to. I'll try. If anything at all strange occurs, just call the station. All right. Please go home while it is still daylight. Yes, and you must try to get there early. Good day. Let's go home now, children. Yes, sister. Yes, sister. Oh, where's Hiroshi? That's funny. He was with us when we saw those men. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Where That's could right. he be? Emanuel Orphanage. M5, come back here to the base. Come back at once. Bring the boy. We would like to question him. Right, sir. All right. The 
this is a nuclear device. What's wrong? One of the boys is missing. Sister. This cap belongs to Yurashi. <gasps> You're right. It does? Then he was taken away. Oh, no! I caused the trouble. I ran away with the case. I'm to blame. <laughs> Don't cry, Lisa. I suggest that we all start looking for him right now. Ah, I will try it. I will conduct a search. Sister, will you take this bag until I return? It's quite important. Yes. I will be glad to take care of it for you. Sir, would you like some help? <laughs> I'll go alone. Don't worry. I'll find Hiroshi. And when I do, I'll give his hat to him. Report. Sir, we were interrupted. A very strong man attacked us. Really? And what of our nuclear device? Sir. What happened to it? Boys took it away. Please don't! Oh! Oh! Please stop! Oh. He should be killed. This is very serious, and we should report this to the leader. Surround this entire area with guards. Strangers are to be shot. Is that clear? Yes. the secret Mongolian base, headquarters of Muntar Deep, the supreme leader of the Mongolians.
Now listen carefully. Our agents are all over the world and prepared. It'll be soon. Now you're all familiar with our secret schedules and our plans. So I won't go into them. I've decided on our first victim. Our initial target is Japan. The entire nation will fall to us. Personally, I'll lead the entire attack. When they're faced with total destruction, they'll surrender. They'll serve as an example. One agent will detonate a device here. I mean you. Our plan shall take, I'd say, about two old days. We will take Japan the first day, and all of Asia, Europe, and Russia, and America, and then the entire Earth is ours. The embassy has just made a report. Hmm? The device is missing. What? It's missing. But we tried, sir. We completely emptied our guns at him. My bullets hit him, but he didn't fall. What's more, he even grinned at me. Never have I seen anyone like him. He didn't seem human. But I assure you, I did my best in trying to kill him. Silence. The fact remains that our invaluable nuclear device is missing. For that, you will die. Sir, it wasn't my fault at all, really. No one could have fought off that man. He was stronger than anyone I've seen. You must believe it. On my honor. I'll consult our leader. He must die. Send men to locate the nuclear device and bring it here. Die! Oh! Let me go! Mercy! I don't want to die! No! Please! Let me go! Oh! Let me go! Please! Uh, oh! No! I did what I could to protect the device. I don't deserve to die. Oh, no! No! No, you don't. All right. Better not. Try to get away and you'll die.
Well, I warned you that I'd kill you, didn't I? Next time I shall. I want to know where the child is. Where was he taken? The boy, as you know, is innocent. Well, where have they taken him? ordered by execution. I don't deserve it. I made just one little mistake. I tried to be loyal to them, but now the gods are going to kill me. All right, it might not be too late. The child's being taken away by train. A train? To where? Somewhere in the vicinity of Kozu. Kozu? And then where are they headed after that? Our base there. Headquarters. Please. I've got to get out of here. You are... You are the one who can help me get away. If you do, I'll tell you everything. Get you out. No, I'm dying. Save the boy. The boy. Ah! <laughs> 
a man, aren't you, Hiroshi? Yes, I'm certain that it's you. Everything's all right. I started searching when your friends at the orphanage asked me. They were ready to give up. Your hat. I told the sister I'd return it. Oh, you did? Gentleman's feeling ill. Oh, thank you. <laughs> Don't cry. You know there's nothing to worry about. I told them when the man said talk would get killed, I said the case was back at the orphanage. Starman hopes he can reach the orphanage before the Megolians arrive there to retrieve the nuclear device. But Starman is too late. The Megolians already are carrying away the deadly nuclear device. And along with it, as insurance against pursuit, they are taking Grey Eco. Hiroshi, my globe meter is giving me a warning. Someone is moving the nuclear device. As soon as you're back there, I will try to catch up to them. All right. Main base, we've got the nuclear device back, and we've taken a hostage. Good work. Bring everything to the secret base. Yes, sir. Coming in. By the time Starman returns Hiroshi to the orphanage and he flies toward the Megolian embassy, he is too late. Reiko and the nuclear device are no longer in the car. You may kill them! Go on, get out of the way! Not until you answer questions. Listen! Don't try stopping me! You'll be killed! I don't think I will. I couldn't get hurt by a car. Starman is mighty. <gasps> Starman, he said. Take me to your base, and right now. It's late already, so let's not waste any time. Oh, oh there's no base? Oh, yes. The Megolian secret base near the ocean. The base that you'll use to launch your first attack. You'll regret any trick. It will fail. I advise you to drive on. The car is stalled. I'll take a look. This is the spot the Megolians had planned for a rendezvous. You see, someone's in the car. Mm.
our radio headquarters. Just why is he taking so long? Or is there somebody you're waiting for? No, nobody. It'll be fixed soon. Muntar Deen, the Mongolian Supreme Commander, has issued orders to carry out a diabolical plan which may trap Starman. The murder weapon is thought by Detective Okamoto to belong to Starman, who is held for the crime. To start, I must get your address. Now, where is your home? It is the Emerald Planet. Huh? It is. I'm not lying, sir. Perhaps you're not lying. But I want to warn you. The penalty you're facing for murder is death. So for your own protection, do not make jokes. Now again, tell me where you're from. As I said, I come from the Emerald Planet, Lieutenant. How dare you make a fool of me? Starman realizes it will be impossible for the detective to understand the truth. And precious time is being lost. Time in which the Magolians are making last-minute preparations for their nuclear attack upon Earth. He must act quickly now if he is to save the planet Earth from destruction. At the same moment, outside the orphanage... Oh. Detective Okamoto! Oh, hi! hi. Hello! <laughs> you shouldn't stay out so late. We left the orphanage to look for you. It's urgent. Some men came carrying guns. Guns? We're looking for that case. We'll Let's show go. you. Quietly. One of the men who fought the strong man. There was another one here. He might have gone inside. Let's see. written a note. Give it to a policeman and he'll get help. Yes, sir. Now stay out of sight. Yes, sir. Let's go. All right.
Officer, read this. Headquarters. He's going to call for help. The atomic attack against Earth is scheduled to start within hours. But at the Mongolian embassy, a party is in progress, hosted by the supreme leader himself, Muntardim, who pretends to be the ambassador. How do you do, Commissioner? I've wanted to tell you, Commissioner, how upset we are. Men are murdered, and your police allow the killer, this star man, to escape. Capture him soon before there are other murders like that. I must demand a lot more action. Yes, my dear Ambassador. My men are working around the clock on this case. I'm glad to hear it. Thank you. Friends, I propose a toast. I make it to the bond between Mongolia and your country, Japan. Tonight, at exactly 11 o'clock, I'll give you some interesting news. News that will shock the world. This will be a night in which history will be made. For right now, let us drink only to friendship and the future. To the future! Attention, a message relayed. It concerns the car and the men at large. Its license tag was seen. Number 544, a Chevrolet. It might be headed toward Yokohama. It was last seen in that direction. This is car 13 reporting. I'm checking all cars in that direction. Signing off. We are on the way to Osaki. There's no sight of it yet. I'm going ahead. Later, I'll report it. We saw them go in. That might mean that the Mongolians are enemies of us all. Yes, you could be right. Remember that note the detective sent? It said, check the embassy. Let's huh? do it ourselves. Hmm? Hmm. What down? Lift. At this moment, Starman has been following a Mongolian helicopter, which seems to be headed for the secret base. Ready to fly us back again? Yes, sir. Wait here. I didn't like that announcement. I've ordered the embassy surrounded, and one of the Mongolian cars is being chased by us. They're up to something, and we've got to find out what it is. Karini. I'd like to know what's going on. I don't trust any of them. You can't let them know it. Any trouble here can lead us to war. Just proceed carefully. You know what's at stake. Good evening. Good evening. Good evening. Madame. Thank you. Please make yourselves at home. Oh, thank you very much. <laughs> they pretend they're very friendly. 
I fear there's a reason for their actions. They'd like us off guard. You're right, I'm certain. I think an excellent idea is this. Call the Prime Minister and tell him what's happening. Mm. I'd better. At the secret Mongolian base. Last we have the device. Without this, we couldn't arm the nuclear weapons, and our conquest of Earth would have failed, huh? It must be completed by 11 tonight. Yes, most of the Japanese high officials are attending the party at our embassy. Then at 11 o'clock, our supreme leader will tell them that this weapon will destroy their nation unless they surrender. And then if they refuse, their ruined nation can serve as an example to the rest of the planet Earth, eh? Our leader's a very clever man. Mm. Wait, what are you doing with that? Put it back on the table. If you delay the completion of our weapon tonight, you'll be executed immediately. Return that device. Put it back at once. I've never seen you here. Who are you? Starman is my name. Oh. Stop him!
are you? What are you doing here? What do you want? Let go! Let go! Help, Roshi, help me! Get the wall, help! Oh. Right. Sneak into our party. They're upsetting all our guests. Go ahead, throw them outside. Yes, sir. Wait, release him. <laughs> Starman flies toward the Mongolian embassy. But, sir, I know that he's one of their gang. Earlier tonight, they were all around the orphanage. I wouldn't lie. I remember what they look like. Silence. Nothing but lies. Excuse me. Come oh, on. Oh. Oh. oh! It's our friend, the strong man. Oh. My friends, the boy's words haven't been lies. You must believe him. The man disguised as their ambassador is really their leader. He has plotted to take over the earth. Unless he stopped, he'll kill you all. Montardim, you are the supreme leader of the Mongolians. Silence and listen. A bit earlier, I announced that I would have great news tonight. By 11 o'clock, I promised I would present it. Well, I'm ready. All Japan can be destroyed unless you surrender to us. Surrender tonight. By exploding the largest nuclear device the Earth has ever seen, we can wipe out this entire nation. But my country, Mongolia, does not wish to destroy Japan or any other nation. Our terms are very simple, I think, for you and for every other country of the world. Either surrender to us or be destroyed by our atomic super weapons. There's no force on Earth that can stop us. Surrender to Mongolia or die. Japan must surrender. The terms I offer are fair. You must surrender. <laughs> What's the meaning of this? <laughs> My friends, there's absolutely nothing to be worried about. You see, I paid a visit to your laboratory. There is no bomb. You're lying. Stop this stupid act. The bomb is made. Is it really? You know that the bomb is harmless without this device. Headquarters just sent a very urgent message. They said they were attacked by Starman. must take that to our base. Be there in an hour or the girl will die. Nothing on earth shall stop us, I said. See that you get there. Bring it to the base. Try to rescue Reiko. Go home to the orphanage and stay there. We will. Hello, Detective Okamoto. They're off the lower cape. I'll attack them. I'm leaving for the base by boat. You must save Reiko. I'll try. Hmm. He has just one minute more. 
If Starman fails to arrive, it's simple. We'll blow up the entire base, move to our secondary headquarters in the Himalayas. Ready? Carry out the execution. Well, go ahead. I have brought it as you demanded. Excellent. All right, show it to me. You should never have interfered with us. But you did. It's a shame. Because you'll die. I'm going to throw this nuclear bomb in there with you. I'm not certain whether or not my body is strong enough to withstand an explosion, but there's no other way. We'll have to try it.
it ahead, Commissioner. Leave here right away. The police will come for them. The children at the orphanage are waiting. I'll take you there. The atomic device is in this case. It can be used for peace. Keep it safe. I will. Thank you. Once again, the Earth is safe from destruction. And the man from the Emerald Planet can go home at last to report that his job is done and that there will be peace throughout the universe.